Here we are going to look at the anemia. Anemia. So what are we focusing on? We are focusing on the types as well as the finding in the peripheral smear. So how will the peripheral smear appear? So we are going to find out. Before that, we always start with questions. So the first question is, what are the peripheral blood smear findings of the iron deficiency? First question is, what is the peripheral smear of the iron deficiency? The second question is, what is the feature of the megaloblastic anemia? So we want to know, in case of the peripheral blood smear, how is the finding? So in this video, we will find the answers to these questions and learn in detail about this topic. So to start with, we need to know, we need to classify anemia. So anemia is uh, divided into microcytic, microcytic and normocytic. So firstly, we will look at the microcytic. So what are the components of the microcytic? So firstly, it includes the thalassemia. The thalassemia trait. So this is one. Thalassemia trait is one. Then we also have the iron deficiency. Iron deficiency. Then lastly, there is a sideroblastic anemia. Sideroblastic anemia. So these are the types. So now we are going to find out individually what are the peripheral blood smear findings. So in case of the thalassemia trait, it is basophilic. It is basophilic. It is nothing but the basophilic stippling and the target cells. The basophilic stippling as well as the target cells. Next, when we look at the iron deficiency, it includes the elipocytes. Elipocytes as well as the target cells. So iron, you have target cells as well as the elipocytes. Then what about the sideroblastic anemia? Sideroblastic anemia, it includes the Pappenheimer, the Pappenheimer bodies as well as the RBC dimorphism, RBC dimorphism. And it also has the ring, it has the ringed sideroblast. Ring sideroblast. This is nothing but the pearl stain. So now we are going to jump on the macrocytic anemia. So what happens in the macrocytic anemia? So under the macrocytic anemia, firstly we are looking at the myelodysplastic syndrome. So what happens in the myelodysplastic syndrome? So under the myelodysplastic syndrome, the peripheral blood smear, there is the hypogranula. There is the hypogranula or the hypolobulated. So hypogranular or hypolobulated neutrophils. So after this, there is also the presence of the blast cells. There's blast cells, there's giant or the hypogranula. The hypogranular platelets as well as the Pappenheimer bodies. The Pappenheimer bodies. Next, we also have the minor population of the hypochromic. The minor population of the hypochromic. So, this hypochromic as well as the microcytic cells so they include nothing but the dimorphic they include the dimorphic as well as the poikilocytes poikilocytes next is we look at the megaloblastic anemia So under megaloblastic anemia, there is always the hypersegmented neutrophils. The hypersegmented. So it includes the hypersegmented neutrophils. And this is increase in the five lobes. And also there is the ovalocytes. Next we have the hemolysis. So what happens in the hemolysis? 
The hemolysis, the medieval blood smear, shows the polychromasia. Polychromasia. This is the purple reticulocyte. Reticulocyte. And it can also include the spherocytes. Spherocytes. Then there is also the chronic liver disease. This all comes under the macrocytic anemia, chronic liver disease. So chronic liver disease has the target cells. Target cells. So we saw the microcytic, macrocytic. Now we'll move on to the normocytic. So what is happening in the normocytic? So normocytic anemia. So in case of the normocytic anemia, firstly we look at the hemolytic anemia. So the hemolytic anemia. So under the hemolytic anemia, it includes the anisocytosis. Next, it also includes the poikilocytosis. Anisocytosis, poikilocytosis, the polychromasia polychromasia as well as a nucleated there is a nucleated red cells so all these are present so hemolytic anemia there is anisocytosis poikilocytosis polychromasia and nucleated red cells next what we move on is the hereditary hereditary spherocytosis spherocytosis so what is this hereditary spherocytosis it includes the rbc there is RBC, there is lack of central zone of pallor. There is lack of central zone of pallor. And also the reticulocytosis. Then we move on to the G6PD deficiency. So what is this G6PD deficiency? So the G6PD deficiency, it involves the hands bodies. The hands bodies. So hands bodies is nothing but it's revealed by a special stain. And it shows the presence of the bite cells. Bite cells. Now we are moving on to answering our questions. We asked two questions. So the first question was in case of the iron deficiency, what are the blood smear findings? So in terms of the iron deficiency, blood smear, it is the presence of the elipocytes the elipocytes as well as the target cells are present the next question was in case of the megaloblastic mega so in case of the megaloblastic anemia so what are the findings so in case of the megaloblastic anemia the findings include the hyper segmented so there is a hyper segmented neutrophils so hyper segmented neutrophils there are greater than five lobes as well as there is presence of the ovalocytes, presence of the ovalocytes.